this up here? It's a wave maker. Oh. Okay. Let's take it. Oh. Move it. Have we done everything we need to do in here? for like some religious thing and then we got some evidence that this Alexis person was here so let's talk to um, the person who is you know that was the aerobic I wrote it down where did I do with it there it is <clears throat> Show letter from Alexis to Jane and aerobics. So that's what we, that's what I've got. Whoops, cancel. Talk. Hey, Jane. Yeah, we are, we've already gone through this. I found this letter. Maybe there's more you can tell me now. Okay, you got me. What do you want to know? <sighs> oh, we just we just did it. She arrived on, on the last shuttle. She was nervous and upset. She needed to hide for a while until her boyfriend Rick Lo tell her boyfriend Lick Rogan was going to show up. She thought they were going to return the stone to an heir of the colonists. Then she got a message from Logan who said he wanted to sell the stone to the highest bidder and for her not to let anyone know about it. Mm. That sounds bad. At that point, at this point, she got angry. She felt like she'd been used by him. About the same time, I had some people come asking about Alexis. She decided it was time to leave and said she would stay with her brother Bradley. Bradley? Okay, well, I'm. Uh, can you tell me more about Rick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you know he was. You 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 even like. Bradley is the discarded mutant son of Marshall Alexander. Here's an address I have for him. Okay, we got an address for him too. All right, I don't think we Deacon Hawk. All right, let's talk. Let's let. There we go. That's that's useful. All right. Brad. Who should we go see? Should we go see the, let's go to the, let's see about the temple. Cause I'm curious more than anything. <laughs> like the ancient walled city of Petra, the monument of the temple was carved directly from the towering wall of Martian granite. The six ornate carved pillars stand below me guarding the entrance to the, this, the holiest place of the ancients. A huge metal gate hinged to a massive courtyard wall that surrounds the temple, protecting it from intruders, blasphemers, and Martian party animals. Huh. 
Honeywell Security Control. Wait. Alright, I don't seem to be able to get in. <laughs> uh, I do have a big dick card, though. Street down a short alley, I find the address for Bradley Erickson. I push the buzzer, no answer. I knock on the door for a while, and a light goes on. The door slides open, and a figure stands quietly, staring at me. He looks even sh even shock me. His looks even shock me a bit. Maybe he'd been struck by something thrown from a passing aircraft, because Brad Erickson appears in this light to be six feet of breathing, walking vomit. Yeah, he, 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 he looks worse for the wear. Right, what can I do for you? All right. Let's start at the top. Just before they died, my foster parents told me who my real father was. Marshall Alexander was ashamed of me when I was born a freak and gave me away to a mutant family. They brought me to Mars and took care of me as one of their own. I'm entitled to something from him. That corporation should be shared with me. I intend to give my portion to the mutants. All right. I don't know why. He wouldn't know anything about any of this. How about that? No. I've heard of him. Okay. Alexis mentioned that name. She said Logan used her to get the stone to sell to the highest bidder. She didn't she didn't want any part of that, so she was hiding out. Was. The key word is was. Alexis is my older sister. She found out she had a brother and searched me out. I know she's in trouble. I wish I could help. Okay. No. No. When my sister came to visit, she told me she'd stolen something called the Oracle Stone from my father. Alexis believes the stone has mystical powers. I think she was planning to return it, but she had no idea to whom. Alexis stayed with Jane before me, before she came to see me. Cash was a heartless SOB. He's got a big safe inside his casino where he holds secrets on important people of Mars. When he found out I was um, Alexander's son, he tried to get something on me. I was given these glasses by someone who said they would help if I really wanted something from Castro. I can't risk trying to use them, so you may as well have them. They have something to do with, oh, the security of the safe. Oh, okay, glasses for the, probably for the, uh, the door. Deacon Hawk is a priestess at the temple. She tries to teach the Martian ways to those who she deems the pure in heart. I wonder if anyone could be as kind and wholesome as she appears to be. All my life I've been kicked around because of the way I look. I deserve a piece of my father's inheritance and I intend to get it. Nerds! Yeah, we got some nerd glasses. Yeah. <laughs> 
Keep looking for my sister. I know she's in danger. All right. All right, now we, now we travel. Uh, should we break into the safe now? I feel like we should try and break into the safe. Let's uh, save though. Is it 30? No, it's 26. got this okay we are we are here and we want to go here or here I don't know if you just go straight when we go in oh no that wait that doesn't make sense I don't know where I am, man. I'm so lost. I'm 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 lost. Okay, I think maybe I know where I am now. So now I don't anymore. Oh, I'm going. Did I get turned around or something? Where am I? What is going on? Why am I going this way? I want to go this way. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, this is right. If we die, I will be I will be a slightly upset. Okay. Dick Castro is the most enormous. Head. We've already read this message. Hmm. I did not expect that. I want the stone, Murphy. Where is it? to me I 
I know a blood when I see it. Who'll be back in 10 minutes? You tell me then, or die. Okay. Let's save. We did this before, but we didn't have the glasses. So... So we want to move this. What's this? Oh, that goes to the temple, probably. Oh, I see. Okay. Hey, look. We can see now. What? That's crazy. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, that didn't, that didn't even make sense. Why can't we just not walk in the beams? You know, that seems like a genius idea. <laughs> what the hell? What? What? What is going on? Why can't we just not walk in the beams? So confused. Hi, Claire. Claire got down and then she came back up. I don't quite understand why she did that. Do we have to use glasses? I'm so confused. Nope. What, what, what the hell is going on? Like seriously, what the hell is going on here? Do I need like... Maybe I need to not step on the floor. Uh. 
Oh, we have a hoverboard. Oh, look at this. <laughs> okay. Well, hey, this is working. Whoops. This is kind of jank too. Not gonna lie, this is a little on the jank side also. So janky. I I don't understand. Ugh. Even lo even loading this this game is just janky. Like this game is just. Somebody needed to go to like Sierra School or something on how to design an interface that wasn't janky, because they did not. That's gonna hit me, isn't it? Oh no, it's not. Okay, where 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 exactly are these lasers coming from? I I don't quite understand. And why are we not in the middle of the screen? Why are we on the edge of the screen like this? Like. That's yes. All right. Oh my God. Load. When you're fighting with the interface, you know, it's not good. Hoverboard. Stop going forward, dude! All right, we're gonna save. What is this? It's I.
retina scan. Not sure how I would successfully do this one. Maybe, maybe I shouldn't have put that in yet. Maybe I should have taken the picture at the beginning. Maybe, maybe I should have taken the picture. What do you think? You know, I haven't been here before. It's filled with antiques and expensive furniture. He tells the doctor he'll be here shortly. Oh, this is, this is new. This is new. What's this? A perfect body with a cash register for a brain? Okay. Insert tube into area of unwanted fat and connect the pump. Flip the switch and watch the unwanted cellulite melt away. Identifier box? What the heck is that? Lawrence Barkley looks like he could use a little of his own medicine. He has a huge forehead topped with a balding pat. His protruding brown and heavy eyebrows, along with a pointy head, doesn't exactly inspire confidence in his would-be patients. However, Barkley is the best in the business. He may resemble Cro-Magnon man, but... Under that thick skull and behind those goofy eyes lies one of the finest minds on Mars. What can I do here, Mr. Murphy? Uh, so you know about the money I've received from Alexander. I suppose since Mr. Alexander is dead, I can share a story with you. It may not be obvious to you, Mr. Murphy, but I am genetically damaged. I became a plastic surgeon years ago to learn how to minimize the damage people like me suffered because of radiation. I have worked on myself for years, and soon it will be impossible to tell my face from a normal person like yourself. When I left the university to set up my practice, I had difficulty obtaining patients. Needless to say, my mutation made other doubt, others doubt my abilities. One day, a nervous and very agitated man came into my office. He approached me on the subject of completely changing his appearance. I felt at the time he was a criminal and I refused. He then made an outstanding offer, astounding offer to me. If I would perform the surgery, he would set me up in a comfortable office and cover the expenses for life. But on one condition, I must never tell anyone of the surgery. Well, I was in, I was in a desperate situation and since I had no proof he was a criminal, I agreed. He made me alter his looks completely. He didn't care to be handsome, just average. Since then, Marshall Alexander has been true to his word. He has paid a huge sum over the last 20 years, and I have respected his secret. I knew it. He was the one, yeah. And now he's now he's dead, and I see no reason to keep it. I see no reason to hang around this planet. I'll be going back to, my, back to Earth as soon as I'm finished here. All right. All right. Uh, I worked on her office, but she's beyond hope. Uh, I was born with an extremely small cranium, which has distorted my appearance, but my next operation will be a complete success. He doesn't look that abnormal. Uh... 
I'm afraid there's nothing I can tell you. Big Dick? Anybody who fools with Big Dick would find themselves outside the dome without a rebreather. Re I've seen the Deacon on television. When my cranium returns to a normal size, it might just pay her a visit if you catch my meaning. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, nice to meet you. Look, look me up sometime when you get back on Earth. Okay. Alright. We got a thing. From Mac Meldon. We did an ultrascopic scan in that on that dagger you found. We were able to match some of the DNA samples we found to someone named Nathan Bloodworth. Okay, we got a new name. <clears throat> we got a new name. Here we go, somebody new. Lowell Percival is Mr. Business with all the warmth of a tax accountant dressed in a three-piece suit that would cost most men three months' wages. He scowls warily. Percival is in his mid-fifties, but his face looks older, heavily lined and flushed with wire rim glasses and grain, neatly trimmed beard and mustache. The man is the epitome of a cold, calculating Scrooge McDuck. He doesn't look like a duck, though. I'm afraid I have no reason to talk to you. There is something I need from Dick Castro's safe. If you can get it, we'll talk. Otherwise, don't bother me. We now have a reason to break into the safe. I wonder if the thing we got will do it. Many, many minutes later. I made it. But do you think I have to get out to? What, what do you think he has in the safe? I mean, I'm not close enough. I'm right freaking here. You place the putty on your face and stare at the Dick Castro trading card. Your face slowly transforms into the in, into the exact replica. Of Dick. Oh, that's why I have the trading card. Oh. I don't see how that would fool a retina scanner. The computer says ID verifying. Oh, the safe is over here. this well I took the Martian memorandum I should have looked at that what is that what is it okay I, I gotta load I gotta load and read the Martian memorandum because that's the name of the game 
A 20-year-old faded memorandum with the following information. The cloister stand in. The colonists have found an artifact, mar an ancient artifact, Martian artifact. They call it the Oracle Stone. Evidently, it has almost mystical powers. It's a find of great scientific importance, and I suggest we try to purchase it from them. If I cannot, if it cannot be purchased, perhaps they will allow us to study it. Signed, Thomas Dangerfield, archaeologist. Okay. Now we can get it. Did I get the photos? I, I heard something about photos and I don't, I think I got them. Like, I don't see anything else here. All right. I guess we leave now. Do we have to do we have to get out with the hoverboard too? I think I've been in here maybe too long. It's actually significantly less janky going back. I feel. Look at that. Look at that. We're so good. How do I stop using the hoverboard? Oh, there we go. That did it. All right, now let's get the heck out of here. He's gonna be so pissed. Oh my god. This music is ah your ears. Yeah, I've got it turned down. Get the hell out of here before he figures out we stole stuff. He's gonna be so pissed. Oh my god. They weren't kidding about the security protecting Dick's safe. I've never seen such an elaborate system since I've since I've got a moment. I review several items I picked up. Lowell Percival's gambling notes. I bet he'll tell something if I give these to him. The Martian memorandum reads to cut. Call on our station. The colonists have found an ancient. Oh, well, they would have told us what it was. They call it the art. Uh, evidently, it was almost mystical powers. It's of great importance. Who is this Thomas Dangerfield?
I know Stanton became Marshall. Oh, we we've, we've surmised that now. Okay, apparently we've surmised that. Mm. Um. Good work, Murphy. Now, what can I do for you? Now that he's dead, I'm going to get control of his empire and add it to my own. Then I'll be the top dog. Why do you why do you think that? <clears throat> Everyone is sorry about Stan, the man who slaughtered an early Martian colony. Yeah. A beautiful woman and a talented actress. I use those terms loosely, of course. Now that she's a free woman, I intend to start seeing her. He's that pinhead plastic surgeon I know from the Lions Club. Uh, you, you do know something about that, actually. I'm a man who knows how to exploit my advantage that might fall to any advantage that might fall to me. Rick Logan, I believe that's the name of the fellow who contacted me about the Oracle Stone, the magic rock. I know how to create an opportunity, uh, and I don't need magic to help me. It's too bad that Marshall Alexander's daughter has disappeared. I heard she was fast and loose. She probably is found murdered somewhere and she probably was found murdered somewhere in an alley. However, that would mean controlling interest in Marshall Alexander's company would go to his wife, Nora Desmond Alexander. It won't benefit me if you find Alexis, but a deal's a deal. A fellow named Rocky Bullwinkle at Big Dick's Casino might help you. Really? If I go back, uh, yeah, that, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Oracle Stone. I got contacted about a rock with magical powers. A stone that helped Marshall Alexander become the wealthiest man in the universe. What a crock. He got there by being shrewd. That's how I intend to take his place. Uh, Dick's got the vice concession and this plan is pretty well wrapped up. It's like a change if Terraform decides to put him out of business and give the franchise to someone else. Now that you mention it, Alexis used to hang out there. That's the guard there, Rocky Bullwinkle. You can't bother him at work. But he goes, he goes someplace near the casino. After I was in pretty deep to cat, I was in pretty deep. Okay, whatever. Let me let me ask that question again. No. Oh. Rocky's a former prize fighter, soft in the head. He's the bouncer at Big Dick's Casino. Try following him sometime. I know he has connections that may be able to help you. Okay, that's useful. I think that's it. I think that's all I really need to know. Okay. All right. I think that's all I need to know. Oh, I have to travel. Okay. Um, the bouncer. He he would be the guy inside. Okay. Is this is this open now? No. Oh, there he is. Okay, just took a little while. Oh, 
I see he looks back. Oh. to be locked. Interesting. I think I might, I think I might have to go in. I wonder if we can like restart this. Like I wonder if we can, I wonder, I want, are we soft locked or can we restart the, uh, do we have a one, is it one shot? Cause I can't, I don't, maybe I'm supposed to go in the door. My guess is I'm supposed to go in the door. I feel like I had enough time. No, I think I'm screwed now. I think I had one shot. Oh no, never mind. Never mind. I have more, I can just keep doing it. I stumble into the smoke-filled sheet bar room. It's packed to the gills with the scum of Martian society. It's kind of place where people disappear, get stabbed, shot, or are forced to buy life insurance at outrageous prices. Then I spot someone familiar. It's Larry Hammond and his brother Daryl. Larry and Daryl are inseparable mainly because they share the same set of soldiers. I, work, I worked with the boys on the Mean Streets case a few years back. The years had not been kind to Larry and Daryl. Larry is a brilliant computer scientist with an IQ over 300, but Daryl is just along for the ride. What can I do for you? Oh my goodness, I don't remember them. Okay, I'd kind of like to save right now. What? That doesn't seem like something I can do. He's the Lord King of Industry on this planet, or was. Wait, is Larry the Skull? They haven't always been far from... They haven't always been far with... Fair with our people in the past, and rumors are spreading that the company is in trouble. Eh. 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 I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. I tried to get him to remove his ugly growth from my shoulder, but he declined. It's the only boat right out. I don't know anything about that. I don't know anything about that. Lowell actually isn't a bad guy. I've worked with him before. He's ambitious and I and he would like to run things on this planet, but he's always been fair to me. If you trade him right, he'll return the favor. I mean, I guess it's just a matter of, I've seen the name on television and the paper. She's the heir to the Marshall, to a Marshall Alexander. She's been missing for several months. Uh, uh, uh. I know that guy. He's building some huge nuclear powered reactor. I did some work for him on a magnetic field generation system. Really? Daryl would like you to arrange a date for him. Dick is a vicious, savage gangster. He's gone crazy with power over at, over at the casino. His, he drove all of his competitors back to Earth. Rocky's okay. He's just a little dim-witted because his brains have been pounded into mush. He's kept his ears open for the mutants at Big Dick's. 
Deacon knows everything that happens on Mars. I really think she can see the future, but she probably wouldn't talk to you. She tries to help those who are downtrodden, but give her this amulet. It may loosen her up a bit. Oh, I got an amulet. Nice. <clears throat> Bloodworth. Nathan Bloodworth? He smuggles in contraband. He's got a wife in town by the name of Michelle. Here's the address. Okay. That's useful. We got an address and an amulet. Hey, you're being useful. Bradley's a bitter, despondent young man. He believes he's the son of Marshall Alexander and feels he's been outcast and unfairly treated. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, we got an address. We got an address and an amulet. And what's with this guy's face, huh? What's with this guy's face? Um, I feel like, I guess we go to the address that we were given. Okay. I have to leave the alley first. All right. I better save before I die again. And here he goes again. Apparently, once you have it, you can just keep, he just keeps doing that. Okay. That's good. 